and Glam family. It is Monday and the FedEx guy just dropped over some fun from my bestie at Erin Condren. So I thought we would open this box of fun things together. I haven't seen it. I don't know what's in it. So it'll be a surprise for both of us. Little unboxing. All right. Let's see what's in here. I like that it's orange. The box is festive. All right. So I just opened it because my address was on this envelope. So it says, of course it has an EC label, and it says, Hi Lisa Marie, please enjoy a sneak peek at our new holiday products. I cannot wait to see how you will use our gift wrap. Speak soon, Sam. Hey Sam. It's so fun having a bestie at my, one of my favorite brands. Sam is awesome. She actually just overcame breast cancer, so shout out to Sam. She's back at House of Condren going strong, and that does not want to stay up, unfortunately. Okay, so inside it looks like there is a cuttering book, which I gave away a couple of those this spring i guess when was it i guess it was right before i moved it wasn't the spring seems like a long time ago so some of her signature pens these are the new coil clips i've been hearing about so these are the coil clips that are four inches i believe yeah so they're nice hefty coil clips so that's exciting and then this says stylish storage pockets so these are their new new storage pockets. Let's see if we can open it and see what's in here. Oh, and it has one of my favorite quotes on it, which is fun. It says, what's meant to be will always find a way. I love that. And this butterfly pattern is beautiful. Without change, there would be no butterflies. I actually have a quote similar to that on my Paper and Glam blog if you guys read paperandglam.com I have a quote for every year that kind of just sums up the story of the year and one of them says we delight in the beauty of the butterfly but rarely do we stop to consider the changes it went through to achieve that beauty it's just a quote I really live by and then dream it wish it do it so this is fun you can coil clip these into you know like anywhere in your notebook and just create cool little little dividers, pocket dividers with the new bigger coil clips. So that's fun. All right, and here is their holiday wrap book. It's the most colorful time of the year. Designer gifting on the go. So let's see what's in here. All right, it is and like a big giant sticker book. So this is fun. I almost feel like I should be doing an official video for this. But I didn't know it was in here. <laughs> All right. It's the most colorful time of the year. And then it has your holiday gift checklist. So all of your kind of who you want to get presents for. Neighbors, new babies. And then here's cards. So these are designed for like gift giving on the go. So these are these are fun cards. It says it's the mo most wonderful time of year. Marry everything. Make all your days be bright, or may all your days be bright, and you just fold it in half here. So you cut it in half here and then fold on the, there's a perforation. So that's fun. Oh, what fun, happy holidays. I'm loving the pink and the teal. There's a pink and teal uh, glam Christmas set coming out. And then there's a classic Christmas with like the red and green. Tis the season to be jolly. And get ready for Glam Christmas, November 1st. And it's off the stamps, you guys. I can't wait to show you. Okay, so this is really cute. Celebrate, sparkle, merry, jolly. I love that. And these are really cute tags, so I don't need tags this year. And then these are all stickers. Really fun stickers. Eat, drink, and be merry. I will definitely be using this for my the wrapping under my tree this year really fun i love that it's all in a box in a book so it's all bound really awesome and then there's actual wrapping paper back here too so that is really cool very innovative ec team and then happy holidays and a joyful new year to you and yours very fun all right 
And you guys have seen the coloring books probably, but there's the coloring book and I'll be giving those, those guys away. And then here is the really fun Jot Your Thought Journal Trio in the mix. I think it only comes in the mixed metallics, but I saw these on their Instagram last week. So we will open them together. All right. So this is really pretty. So this first one has this geometric print on it. And then the inside just has some graph paper. So that is fun for like to-do lists and stuff. Like kind of like how I use my You Better Work notebook. And then this is the, the fleur-de-lis print. And then more of the same with a little mint EC. And this one's actually lined. So that's fun. And then lastly is the marble journal. And I love this color. You guys know I love teal. And inside it is blank. So they kind of have all the paper paper covered. So that is the journal trio. And that is a wrap for what's inside this box. The postman just dropped off my mail and I have a fun package to share with you guys. Order from Pearls and Pastries. Lauren over at Pearls and Pastries makes these really pretty sparkly hangers. How fun are these? So you may have seen I have a pink one and a gold one and some monogrammed ones from her, but she released some new colors that I had to have. So this purple, I thought it was going to be like a Halloween-y purple, but it's actually a really pretty spring purple. I like it. So it's very like Easter-y. And then just a basic black that's good all the time. And especially right now for Halloween. And then I got this one because I thought it was such a festive Christmas colors. I love her hangers. She just came out with a bunch of different colors. I emailed her and was like, will you please make some in more seasonal colors? So I know she just released some in a bunch of new colors. So if you haven't seen Pearls and Pastries, this is so fun. I'm going to go put them on my seasonal clothing rack now. Paper and Glam family, it is Wednesday. It is Wednesday morning at 6.30 in the morning and I am making a crock pot recipe that hopefully will be done by lunch. Should take about five hours, five or six hours. I am cooking out of this cookbook that I absolutely love. It is the Fix It and Forget It Lightly Cookbook. It is everything you need it. It's just awesome. So many recipes and it all has the macros and most of them aren't too complicated too. So this one's really simple and I thought I would show it to you lined up ready to go here so some cayenne pepper some taco mix and some diced and fire roasted tomatoes with green chili I got some enchilada sauce from Trader Joe's because it had pretty good macros and I thought it might be good on my chicken and then I got some avocados too because I thought that would also be good just served over some brown rice so here is my crock pot I already washed and put the chicken in so now we're ready to make this recipe. What I'm going to do is put some cayenne pepper on the chicken. Because I love cayenne pepper, which you know if you've watched a vlog before. All right. Now we are going to mix the taco seasoning in with the tomatoes. Spread this out evenly over the chicken, and that is a wrap. We come back in five hours, and this should be ready to go. All right, put a lid on it, and the crock pot is on low, and that's a wrap. See you at lunchtime. Lunchtime, and the moment of truth for this skinny Southwest chicken recipe. <laughs> Oh, it looks yummy. It looks delicious. Okay, I just tried it and it is delicious. It cooked for just about five hours. So the recipe said five to six hours. Definitely, it is done in five and it's really good. I'm going to put it on some brown rice. All right, I just plated this with some brown rice and avocado and that is a wrap. A very balanced, macro-friendly lunch.
Couldn't have been easier. Good morning, glam friends. It is Friday Eve and I just opened a fresh bag of coffee that I wanted to show you because it's so cute. Look, it's a jack-o'-lantern. It says jack-o'-lantern ground, jazzy jack-o'-lantern ground coffee. A fruitfully irresistible hearty brew, spicy and filled with magical pumpkin delight. I can use this this morning. So seasonal, so fun. It's from Home Goods. I have a coffee haul from Home Goods to show you later today. But first, I'm gonna try this one. It smells really good. Yum. I'll show you guys what happened in the middle of the night. I am so bummed. Sunday and I thought someone was here to rob us. I have, I am so scared. Look what happened. So at about four o'clock in the morning, my wreath fell off of my door and shattered. I don't know what prompted it to just take a tumble, but I am so bummed. So if you guys see a wreath that looks like it belongs in Glam HQ, I need another fall wreath. I'm really bummed because this one was perfect for like fall all the way through till Halloween. I'm so sad. And this is from Home Goods, but when I went, they didn't have anything even close. Hey Glam fam, I'm running late for the post office, but I had to show you how cute this present is that I am wrapping up for my best friend and college roommate. So she's having a Halloween party, so I'm sending along a couple things for her party. We love Clueless, so she needs this book, as if, The Oral History of Clueless. And I will definitely link this below if you're like, I need this, because I need this too. Some cute socks from Kitson. She has one of these little dogs. I want to say they're Yorkies, but maybe not. You guys can correct me if I'm wrong. And then in here I wrapped some pumpkin pie, Paramount coffee, some lip gloss, and then the grand finale, a gold edition of the Vertical Life Planner with a Glam Shop planner cover on it, and then a pack of stickers and pens. So I'm going to put this in the box really quick and run to the post office, but I wanted to show you how cute this is. Happy Sunday, Paper and Glam family. I am about to take the bear on a little R-U-N, but before I do, I want to put a crock pot meal together. So I am making the Southwest chicken recipe that I showed you earlier in the week. So for you, it was like five minutes ago. But I don't think I've quite perfected the recipe. So what I'm going to do is add a jar of salsa to the recipe and see if that helps. I think that the taco seasoning mixed with the tomatoes with the fire roasted chilies. I don't know, it didn't quite have the flavor I was looking for out of it. So I'm going to make this tweak and see how it goes. And then of course the recipe is down below in the description box so you guys just can cut and paste. I might actually even throw it up on the vlog. So, or the blog rather, not the vlog, this is the vlog. All right, let's give it a go. Okay, so we're still just using four ingredients. You guys know I think simplicity is <laughs> perfection. So um, it's, you know, exactly the same, just adding the salsa. So I'm going to mix the taco seasoning, the salsa, and the fire roasted tomatoes in a bowl, and then just cover the chicken with it. All right, so I've got everything in the bowl. I'm just going to mix it up here, make sure it's evenly distributed, and pour it over the chicken. You guys like how my spatula is orange? I like to change them out seasonally <laughs> with everything else, right? But you know, that should have been another tip in my <laughs> Halloween home tour. You just, what, I think I found these in like the dollar section at Target years ago. And I also have Christmas ones too. All right, we will check back six hours later. Sunday and I are on a run through our neighborhood and I thought I would show you guys some of the really cute Halloween decor in my neighborhood. I don't know if if you're like me, then you like going out and seeing people's Halloween decor. When you were kids, did you ever, did your parents ever always take you to like the streets where they go all out and you'd go see the Halloween decor and the Christmas decor? I always thought that was so fun. So I'm going to be showing you a little montage of Halloween decor, so enjoy.
am. It is after six now and I want to make sure I shared with you some of the fun things that came in the mail today and over the course of the week. So I have a mini home haul and a mini planner haul for you. So let's see. All right. How cute are these? Oh my glam. So here's a little pumpkin pie and Emily actually makes each of these by hand with polymer clay, I believe. So super cute pumpkin pie for November. And then this little pumpkin donut I thought was perfect for, you know, the whole the whole fall season. Same with this little pumpkin. How cute, how cute. And then this candy corn cupcake is absolutely smashing for Halloween. And if you guys saw the Glam October stickers, it had a candy corn cupcake on it. So I thought this was absolutely perfect. And then last but not least, look at this little, this little Frappuccino. So stinking cute. I'm so glad I ordered these. Thank you, Emily. Such beautiful craftsmanship. Next, I have some washi tape to show you. So these are from the Dollar Tree. My Dollar Tree finally got the seasonal washi tape. So I really like these just simple patterns. So I loved this orange and black stripe. And then the other Halloween one I got, and I already used it, is this Harlequin print. So cute. And then the rest are Christmas. So these are a little more whimsical. Super cute little mugs on that one. Got some trees on this one. And then some stripes. So I love, I love the patterns. And this one is by far my favorite, and it is a plaid. Such fun little planner goods. And a lot of you have seen these if you've been to a Dollar Tree and I know they're all over the paper and glam planning group. So it's fun to, to get in on it. This one is just smashing. I just love the plaid. The Glam Christmas collection has a, a plaid like this in it. That's just super cute. All right, the next thing, if you guys saw my Halloween home tour, then you saw that I said I was looking for Halloween salt and pepper shakers. And these just came in the mail. They're from a vintage shop and they are vintage Hallmark cupcake salt and pepper shakers. Let's see if I can get one out here one-handed. Okay, how cute is this witch cupcake? Absolutely smashing. I love them. You guys know I love my, my witches for Halloween and that is just too cute. And then this one is a bat one. So I'm glad I held out for the perfect thing because these are just absolutely precious and I don't know that's part of the fun of it right is just on the hunt looking for the perfect little pieces I just like to get a couple things every year this year I went a little crazy but you guys know what I mean it doesn't have to be a lot to to be seasonal glam okay next up you know I love my coffee and I love my seasonal mugs and you also may know if you saw my Halloween tour, I also kind of have a, a mask theme going. So when I saw this mug with a mask on and then it's tied in the back and it says scary. So I just had to have this. It was $5 and it just had to come home. So stinking cute. And then I got some restocks on my coffee. So I got this Jazzy Jack-O-Lantern one and I tried this one on Friday. I think I showed you guys and it says a frightful irresistible hearty brew spicy and filled with magical pumpkin delight so I didn't care for this one because it tasted like chocolate and this is I know a weird thing I don't like things that are flavored chocolate I like chocolate but like no chocolate ice cream or anything like flavored chocolate and this tasted like Halloween candy to me so yeah then I got this really fun one this witch's brew one and I haven't tried this one yet, but it's a mysterious potion of creamy butter rum and luscious caramel and a touch of roasted hazelnut. So love it. So festive. And then I got some more of the fall in love coffee to send as presents to a couple of my coworkers. They've been working long hours. So I'm going to send one pumpkin pie and one pumpkin spice. And I just got them cards at the dollar store. And this one says Halloween brings bonfires and hayrides. Apples and cider, pumpkins on porches, colorful trees, the cool autumn weather. I know Halloween is supposed to be spooky, but there's so much about this time of year that makes me smile, and I hope you're smiling too. So I wanted to send out some little Halloween treats since they have both been working 
ugh, a, a lot of hours. We still have a lot going on at work right now. And I wanted to make their day, so I'm gonna give the pumpkin spice one, it goes with this one. And then this one's really cute too. And it says, what a spooky place this world would be without nice people like you. Have a happy Halloween. So this one goes with the pumpkin pie one. And then this one, I actually got two of these. I got one for myself and one for a birthday present for my friend Caroline. So I have a lot of birthdays in, in October. And this is the Caramel Nut Delight to Fall in Love Coffee. So I hadn't, I didn't have this one in my food haul. They didn't have this one when I went, but this may be my favorite one. I tried it, I think this morning, and I think this is my favorite of the Fall in Love fall in love coffees and I've had all of them now the only fall one I haven't had is the pumpkin pie but I'm kind of saving that one for November and then the sweater weather one but I think that one's online only and it's also peanut butter I'm not sure how I feel about peanut butter coffee so anywho that is my little home haul our southwest chicken is ready I want to show it to you guys it looks delicious and I just tried some and it is delicious don't mind Sunday she's getting a drink in the background but look how delicious this looks. So I went ahead and just shredded the chicken with a fork so it can kind of marinate a little bit more. But I definitely like this better because it's almost more of like a, a soup, kind of like a gazpacho with chicken, which I appreciate because it'll be great over brown rice with avocado. So I absolutely love this recipe. It's a lot more flavorful. I will say that make sure you get a really mild salsa because I did not, and this is on the spicy side, which I appreciate, but just make sure you get a, a mild one if you are not a fan of spicy food. So this is definitely the winner of the, the Southwest chicken recipe face off. It's kind of fun making little tweaks to recipes and kind of making them your own and, and figuring out what works. But this is definitely such an easy recipe, right? Like four ingredients. And it's a wrap, super great macros and, and all of that.